Testing, testing. Are we ready? Are we ready to go? Yeah. Oh, this is new, isn't it? It's a test episode, yeah. pilot episode, if you can call it that, um, of Bow Bros. Don't know what this is going to be, but we like to talk tech, camera tech, gear. As always. <laughs> yeah, photo news. In fact, this should be called Photo Gear News, but I think somebody else has got that name. Who, who, who is that? Don't know. It's definitely not okay anyway. What is Bulk Bro though? I mean, uh, I, 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 have a, I have a little bit of difficulty of pronouncing it. Is it Bulk Bro? Bo, 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 bo. It sounds like a really dodgy website, doesn't it? Bo Bro. Come to bo bo bro. Bros. <laughs> com. I, I don't know, because, because there's, there's Bokeh Bros. Bokeh Bros is a good, Bokeh Bros is a good name, right? Yeah, we, we first thought of Bokeh Bros. Yeah. Taken. Good luck. Yeah, a lot of like YouTube channel taken, domain taken, Twitter, uh, Instagram, basically all taken. Yeah, exactly. Just just bokeh is such a, a buzzword that everybody yeah. has just taken anything that actually that's it's, good. it should be pronounced bokeh. You can check out the Photo Gear News episode. All right, all right. So yeah, um, what is the point of this? So. Locke and I have been apart for quite some time now, haven't we? I mean, we're not, we're not yeah. a couple. We're not like that. No. Um, yeah. Um, so we, we just can't help but come together. <laughs> so that sounds really dodgy. <laughs> no, I can't, I can't say that. Oh, we've been apart, but we love coming together. <laughs> yeah, we just like putting our heads... No, hang on. That's even worse. No. We just like... Let's, let's get back together on YouTube, all we, right? <laughs> we just like creating content together, all right? Yeah. Oh. So we can't help but create this channel, which is all new and shiny, basically. Ooh, ooh. ooh ding, ding, ding. We can put some effects in here right now. Yeah, exactly. Ding. Boat Rose, this is something new. Don't know where it'll take us. Hopefully we'll do some other, maybe bigger stuff. Obviously, we are not in the same place now. I think it's quite obvious, right? This is uh, editing. Like what do you mean? Screen. I'm looking no. right at you. I'm looking right at you. We're not in the same I'm, place. I'm, I'm looking How at can the that ceiling, be? though. Look Actually, that. which way am I supposed to be looking? <laughs> what? Which way am I supposed I, to be looking? Am I supposed to be looking right? No, I, I'm looking at right, my right. So you should look at your left. <laughs> I, well, you We've started at off wrong then. Oh, we should have flipped I it put, then. I I, I, I wrote it in the shared document. Oh, don't, oh. Make it, don't make it sound like it's scripted. Welcome back to our really serious production. Okay. As always. Damn, my, my, well monitor's, my monitor's on that side. That's obviously off to a, a really good start. Um, exactly, excellent start. episode one. This is the pilot episode and probably the last. <laughs> That's why they have pilot episodes. To, to find out how shit it is. I, everyone start with episode one, so yeah. Exactly, apart from Star Wars. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start off with some top topics from the world of photography, starting off with this from Yongwo. Oh. Check this out. It's called YN43, why is that? Oh. This is a micro four thirds adapter. That's why it's called YN43. Oh, clever. clever that. Oh, yeah, of course. YN Yongwo. Yongwo. 43. Four fur. Yeah. And of course, they're, they're always leading the way when it comes to new products. I mean, I've never seen a product like this before. Oh, no, what am I saying? I've seen something like this from Sony, and it's years ago. And from Olympus as well, if you still oh, remember. Yeah. yeah. That was at a time when Sony and Olympus were still a bit shit. Well, actually, Olympus mm, is yeah, still yeah. a little bit shit. <laughs> yeah. And that's coming from Olympus fanboy. The YN43, AKA making your iPhone into Micro Four Thirds. I, I remember seeing on Petapixel with, or, or, or one of the news websites, it said, yeah. now you can make your iPhone or your smartphone into Micro Four Thirds camera. I've made my GH5 into it. I've made a camera into Micro Four Thirds camera by buying the GH5. I don't understand how, what is the purpose anymore of, of, a, of a lens that clips onto a phone? When Sony try it, it's obviously kind of fail, isn't it? Not many people bought it. When you carry that 
thing like this young roll uh, microphone for adapter whatever or that sony qx whatever when you carry that thing why not you just carry a compact camera when compact camera this is really good rx100 exactly because with the the yn43 not only do you put that thing on the back you have to put a lens on top of that <laughs> yeah yeah it's like it's even bigger so what's the point of that it's, it's like okay uh your oh, phone also, is... it's a canon it's a canon man isn't it <laughs> <laughs> now that doesn't make sense that does not make sense not only are you wasting the ef the full frame lens you're also yeah. wasting the efs lens because that's bigger than the two times mm. crop of micro four thirds. So what's the point of that? This is this is basically a camera, right? It yeah. doesn't need the phone. It basically doesn't need the phone to function. If wrong roll, add a screen to this and then add control on it. It's a camera. Why don't they release a micro four third camera that take Canon lens? Because <laughs> because it oh, makes more it, sense. Because it would be shit. No, I think it would be better if they just make it into a camera. I mean, I mean, it's still shit. It's going to be still shit, but it's like, oh, the young roll make a camera, that kind of thing. Rather than, oh, young roll make a micro four foot adapter for phone. Anyway, moving on, what else have we got? Oh, I, we've got a new product from DJI. But it's not the Phantom 5 everyone is expecting. It's the DJI Phantom 4 Pro version 2.0. Oh, sorry, sorry, what can you, what? V 2.0. Well, that's a firmware update. Nope, not really. For now, there is the original Phantom 4, and then there's a Phantom 4 Advanced with one inch sensor, this and that, lighter body. Phantom 4 Pro with five wave sensor, something like that, and a, and a black color. Pro V 2.0, it got a quieter propeller, and then it got that obtusing yeah. thing. So it don't, I mean, it's a more advanced connection, something like that, for the video feed. So, hang on. How does this fit in? Does uh, it got a qu quieter propeller, but better. So hang on, the DJI Phantom 5 is not going to be a pro. Not sure. There's too many, it's going to, it's, it, there's too m yeah. many lines now. But just, just within Phantom 4, there's a, like, there's the original Advanced Pro and Pro 2.0. So there's rumors of the DJI Phantom 5 as well on there? Yes, there's a one rumor. Uh, someone just leaked the photo and then there's some uh, Chinese writing about what you got, were going to get. So there are like interchangeable lenses only specially designed for the Phantom 5. And then they use leaf shutter within the lens. Ooh. Make sure you know the difference between leaf shutter and the photo focal plane shutter though. <laughs> Yeah, leaf shutter is between the lens, not on the shutter. Like, I mean, not on the sensor. So you won't see a shutter in front of the sensor. That's not leaf shutter. Leaf shutter in the lens, okay. What could you possibly uh, be referring to, Locke? Don't know. Oh, I don't I mean, know. A, well, a lot of kids don't know that. I mean, they just try to educate people. I mean, that's what we do. Well, I mean... We if, try to. If you're lying about it being a leaf shutter, don't show a focal plane shutter going up and that down. That sounds really specific. What are you referring to though? I, I don't know. I, I, I just picked up on your conversation and... Um, okay, yeah, that's true. I don't really watch shit content these days, so... Yeah. <laughs> anyway, there's built-in ND filter. Yeah. That's, that's good though, built-in ND filter. And then the, the French distance is five millimeters. It basically, it basically millimeters. sounds like a cine camera. A built-in ND filter. Yeah. It's brilliant. What's next? What's next? Oh, there's a Fujifilm X-T100, Lot X100T, Lot X-T10, it's X-T100, it's the new $600 uh, APS-C size mirrorless camera from Fujifilm. So the, the, the X-T100? X-T100, yeah. It's getting confusing though, they've got... They've got XT10. Have they got XT10? They've got XT10, haven't they? I think so, I think so yeah. Which one's the top of the line one? X X no, no. H1? Oh, that's top of the line. And then they had X... XT1. X, X something 2, is it? No. XT... XT2, is it? It looks a bit like your, your uncle's camera, a kind of uncle that you don't quite like. <laughs> he, he thinks, oh, you like photography. I'm going to give you basically my old shit. Yeah. 
Because some Fujifilm, some Fujifilm camera, I mean some Fujifilm digital camera, they look a lot like um, film camera. They got a hint of film camera. But this one, the X-T100, look exactly like a film SLR and not those good looking ones even. No. Uh, and I think this is kind of aimed towards selfie loving people. I mean, uh, I think yeah, the interesting thing sweet. about this, yeah, the flippy screen, could be good for YouTubers. It could be useful, but for video, they kind of missed the boat here. 4K. Four, yeah. 15 FPS. I know. What? That's that's stupid. What is the point of that? Yeah, moving on to a camera that photo geeks and video geeks will like. Oh. It's a GH5, GH5S, and a potential autofocus fix. <laughs> Again, this is not the first. This is not the first. A fix they have for their autofocus, isn't it? You know what? I've given up. I mean, I, I, I believe there's only so much you can fix with with when it's contrast based autofocus. There's only so much you can do. Is it really that bad? I mean, I my A7S II is bad, but is it bad? Is it worse than that? Uh, the, the thing is, I've I've never really used the A7S II on. Uh, you know, a, a long, long-term basis. Um, GH5, I would say so. I, I would say it's pretty bad. Uh, I mean, the GH5, I used it for a while in New York uh, for one day. So I still not sure it was, it looks like it was pretty good to me, but then loads of people keep complaining about, no, I may, I should, I should got a chance to test it extensively. Well, relatively extensively. I'm going to New Zealand two weeks later, and I should be shooting with a GX5, and we'll see. Well, I I will see. Well, you might like it. I mean, the, the aspects of it. The, I mean, I I think the GH5 is a great camera. Okay. All right. Moving on to the next feature. We have asked you questions on. No, <laughs> we didn't ask you questions. <laughs> we asked you that to ask work. us questions. It's all about the community. It's yeah. both bros and sisters. Boom. Please ask us some questions. And you've asked us some plenty of questions, haven't you? Quite a lot, for, yeah. For, it's still coming in. Lock. Still thick and fast. Let's, boom, it's this like, it's like shotgun question and answers. Boom, boom. Sid the Whistle asked, strangest, strangest place you've been recognized? A toilet. No. <laughs> yeah. Yes. While you're having we, yes, and then some, and then did they recognise you by your? Oh no, hang, that one makes sense. In Hong Kong, I think it's in Hong Kong in the in the toilet. Yeah, that's a Hong Kong kid. That's quite awkwardly, like, oh, oh, you're locked. Oh, oh, yes. Uh, I'm going to wash my hand now. I don't think I've been recognised in any weird places though. Okay, that's boring. Yeah. Oh. So, all right. Sorry. All right. Next one is from Steve. No more, no, no, shotgun. Uh, I mean, I have to say sorry if I pronounce your uh, family name wrong. I'm Chinese. Anyway, <laughs> shotgun versus laugh mate for frogging. Don't, don't apologize for being Chinese. <laughs> I oh. apologize for my uh, pronunciation. Convenience shotgun. Yeah. The, you can't be lovely for sound when you're out about, yeah. uh, uh, say, in town or in a, uh, you know, an event. But it's just a pain in the ass when you've got your lavalier and it's mounted, the receiver's mounted, and then you've got this in your back pocket. One of them is going to be run out of batteries and you're not going to realise it. And for that, I would still say shotgun for vo the logging. For me, I think it, it depends on what do you think, I mean, what do you define flogging? Is it just about talking about our daily stuff or travel or whatever? If that's kind of flogging, I would definitely use a shotgun because for like a travel vlog, it would be for a whole day long. Shotgun might be really good for battery life and then I don't want to use a wireless lav mic and then keep having to put a big receiver on me, having to turn it on and off all the time. I just want a shotgun on my camera, it works for like a few days. But for when I shooting review this that kind of video, I would use a lovely because it's, your voice Agreed. is more uh, clear. That's why we are using one now exactly. as well. Yeah. What was your first camera? 
OM1, Olympus OM1. This is belongs to my father. Really beautiful. So this is the example of a good looking film camera, not like the XT, <laughs> XT100. Let me show you mine. Hang on. All right, what's yours? Oh, this is mine. Pentax MZM. You know, it's it's not, it's nothing special. My sister bought this for me, so it's special in that sense. First camera, but this is what I learned how to take pictures, basically, and it's great yeah. memories. It's got all the features you need. It's, it, I mean, it's got aperture on the lens and the shutter speed here, and that's really all you need. I mean, it, it works better that way instead of all these uh, features and stuff that kind of get in the way. Mark Samia, Top Gear or the Grand Tour? Too easy, this one. Old Top Gear and Grand Tour. Yeah. And they're still the same. Still, it's still, still got the same. There's the great interaction between yeah. the three of them. And that's, that's it's basically all about all the presenter um, personality, isn't it? Rather than the show. <laughs> I, what what could you possibly be implying? Top Gear. Um, Moving on. Okay. Tom, just he's just called Tom. What do you miss most from the digital web days? How to, how do I make it not not that cringy? Is that working with Kai? I mean, <laughs> I mean now, especially now when I have to shoot video by myself, it's sometimes it's just when you're just yourself with your camera, it's kind of hard to like. Oh, what, oh! Uh, welcome to watch yeah. this video, and I'm I'm really excited by myself. It's it's hard yeah, yeah. to do that when when you're filming with your friend. It's just like when you're talking to camera, you're you're talking to your friend. Things where you're messing about. It's yeah. it's yeah. like you're messing about and you're talking to your friend. Um, I mean, it, it could have been anywhere though. I mean, it's the same as a, a, at Red Wolf. It, it, <laughs> I wouldn't say it's specific to digital rev. And the uh, fixed income. I miss yeah. it. <laughs> all right. So we have finished all the questions. Well, actually not all the questions. We still got loads we haven't packed. We can't do them all, obviously. No. We're so, yeah. The, We're my, so uh, lazy, that's why. <laughs> but you know what? If it makes it past the pilot episode, we'll answer all of those questions that we missed and more Maybe because all. we'll be asking again, hopefully. And then yeah. maybe the YouTube questions here as well. Yeah, keep them coming with the hashtags mm. Ask Broke bro, 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 Bros. But before we go, this is the um, 10 second plug. Plug. You've got yeah. 10 seconds. Oh, just 10 seconds, okay. To tell me what, you do, what you're up to. Go. Oh, Boom. I just removed, uh, remove, I just released a video about tips for new drone owners. And uh, I have a uh, one plus six. I'm reviewing right now one plus six, and then uh, I will visit New Zealand next week. Done. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> yep. Okay. For me, um, nothing. See ya. <laughs> no, okay. I've, I've, I'm doing a what's in my bag because I haven't done one of those for a long time, and everybody loves yeah, what's yeah. in my bag. Um, coming up, I'm going to be going to Lake District and some other landscape-friendly places, and then I'm uh, going to work on some more silly but hopefully useful content. We've been doing it that for like eight years. Yeah, that's, long that's what we major in. That's that's main mainly silly, slightly informative. Yeah, there we are. Yeah, that's Congratulations! It. Oh. Cheers. That's that's the pilot episode. Probably the test pilot episode. <laughs> the test pilot. Yeah, not crash even and burn. A, not even a pilot episode, it's a test pilot episode. Yeah. Test Paper, pilot, yeah. yeah. It's those dummies that go in the plane and they crash. Yeah. Um, no, test pilot, uh, actual pilot. Oh, really? So they have to die? No. So, so do you want to do that? Do you, should I do the outro or you want to do the outro? Don't know. I mean, uh, yeah, uh, subscribe because this is, this, well, I mean, this is a really new channel. It's new. I mean, <laughs> So we really need those subscription and... I'm not going to beg. Subscribe if you want. That's it for me. Thank you very much. I'm going now to have a shit because I'm dying for one. See ya. See ya. Oh, the camera is so far away.